Okay. All right, I think I is ready. I'm ashy as normal, but it is what it is. Okay, let's go. Oh, I don't like that clap. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Vinia McKell. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Today is a blind buy review of the perfume Miss Girl from Paul Reacts. If you are familiar, aren't familiar, Paul Reacts is a TikTok creator who um, got, he normally does like reviews uh, or reactions to like other perfumes. So like if a perfume is blown up on TikTok or whatever, he'll stitch it and come in and say, smell it and say, okay, this is good or okay, it's not good. Like he, that's his thing and he kind of blew up that way. So he ended up getting a collab with Oksha to create his own perfume. But you know, Oksha are just dupes of name brand perfumes um but so we gonna smell it open it up and give my thoughts and opinions before i get into that you know i have to always thank my subscribers you guys are amazing and beautiful and i just love you so so much you guys leave the most amazing comments y'all dm me and just say the most amazing beautiful things and i just really rock with y'all and love y'all I love y'all. <laughs> you also know I have my uh, Fragrant Body Oils discount code. The code will be on the screen and in the caption down below. I have plenty of hauls from them. Talking about them. Le um, letting you know things that I enjoy from their collection. And people also are always in the comments saying, hey, I ordered this from them. I love it. So, go ahead. Check it out. Now, let's just jump right on into it. So, this is what it looks like. It's this beautiful, like, fuchsia type of color. It says, Oaksha and Paul um, and then this is his little signature right there Paul reacts um, I do know this is supposed to be a dupe of uh, I think Baccarat Rouge 540 mixed with Lost Cherry yeah Baccarat Rouge 540 and Lost Cherry however comma if you know you know that Dawkins Aroma has a scent called Opulence that is off is that upside down opulence that is also a combination of baccarat rouge 540 and lost cherry so we're gonna smell this one give our initial thoughts and i'm also gonna smell opulence again to see if it's giving if it's on the same level if you think you need if i think you need both if one or the other we're gonna give thoughts so let's i don't even know how to open this how do you do this What's happening? Oh, it's like a little box. Something just fell out. That's very pretty. I think the color, he hit the nail on the head when it comes to the color. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, so they put the notes on the back of here. They put what it's inspired by. And there's also some stickers. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that or where I'm supposed to put that. But I think he killed it when it comes to the packaging. I think this bright pink fuchsia type color I love and I'm gonna hold you I wanted it for the bottle this bottle in your collection like what I ordered some tester strips some like fragrance tester strips from Amazon so those should be here soon so I could start smelling things on that instead of running out of places on my body to smell things plus I got on a fragrance today and my fragrance is <laughs> it's hitting you know what I'm saying it's hitting so it ain't even gone I can't even do my arms up because my 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 combo today is already lit anyway <laughs> let's give it a those are good sprays Paul those are good sprays you know I'm that'll stop me in my tracks I ain't even put up to my nose yet wow wow that is pretty good wow <laughs> that's pretty good I ain't even gonna hold you that is great okay it says the notes the top is bitter almond sour black cherry and saffron the middle is warm tobacco jasmine sambank turkish rose and tonka bean the base is moss sandalwood rich amber vanilla and caramel what i'm smelling does smell good it smells great and i feel like the longer i let this sit the more it's going to marinate real good and it's going to give what it's supposed to give. I, I have very high hopes for this. I ain't going to hold you. Like the fact that it hit me and I didn't even put it up to my nose yet. Like it just came up to me and greeted me. Wow. I could use a little more cherry. 
but there's like a woody earthiness to it but not in a bad way um and then it's a little sweet at the top i could have used a little more cherry but it's really not bad now here is the question like i said opulence from dawkins aroma which is a black owned company as you know i feel like i'm holding this the wrong way for y'all is that worse maybe that's worse i don't know um they have the same combination black rye rouge rye 40 and lost cherry However, I opened this maybe a month or two ago, so it's been sitting and it's been marinating, right? But even when I first opened it, I did a haul, I, a haul of the whole, everything that I had bought. Even as I kept filming, Baccarat Rouge Rye 40 Lost Cherry kept coming up to my nose, like as I was moving and doing stuff with my hands, it just kept greeting me at the door. Bless the Lord. It kept greeting me at the door. So... We're going to spray this one and see what it's hitting on. Okay. Now, to be fair, like I said, this one has been sitting. This one has not. I literally just opened it just now. Okay. This is hard. This is harder than I thought. I'm going to say they're good, but they're both good, but I think they're a little bit different. I have to sneeze. I think the Dawkins Aroma one has a little more sweetness. What I'm picking up, a little more sweetness at the top than the Oaksha one does. I'm getting more of like the middle and the base notes. Like the, it's more woody, more incense like. And this one has that same thing, but it's a little more, it's a little sweeter. However, comma, again, this has been sitting for at least a month. So it's gotten to settle a little bit. I think macerate is the term. I always feel like I'm using it wrong, but I think that's the term. And um, <clears throat> I'm willing to bet that the Pariax version will do the same thing as it continues to sit. Having that said, do I think you need both? No. From what I'm smelling here, I just don't think you need, I think they both serve the same purpose. I think there are slight differences in the two. Um, and there might be one that you prefer over the other. You, you might, might like, <clears throat> you know, the you might like slight differences of one more than the other. But I, in my personal opinion, it doesn't justify having both. Similarly, if you have Baccarat Rouge 540, excuse me, or La and Lost Cherry, you can combine both of those. If you have a um, Baccarat Rouge 540 dupe and a Lost Cherry dupe, you can still combine those. Like the Finery, Not Another Cherry Finery, and Instant Crush. Or, um, there's so many Baccarat dupes. Cloud and uh, um, Lost Cherry Perfume Oil or something. Like, you can... You can or like Red Temptation and like a Lost Cherry Perfume Oil or Not Another Cherry. Like, if you have dupes of these or the originals themselves, you can combine them and make that happen. If you have Paul Reacts, you have already combined thing. If you have Opulence from Dawkins Aroma, you already have something that's combined. This does smell really, really good. It's sweeter. It's like the sweetness at the top, like the cherry, a sweeter cherry. Or I don't know, maybe it's the saffron. I don't know. There's something at the top that's sweeter in the... Dawkins Roma one. This one isn't as sweet yet, but I feel like it could get there. Honestly, the only difference in the two worth mentioning is accessibility. Meaning, the Oaksha one is probably, it might be a limited edition thing. Like, he might it might be available for a couple of months and then they'll go on to something else. However, while it's available, you can just go on there and click it. Dawkins Aroma, there they have seasonal things where um, they'll have something in stock for a couple of months or not even a couple of months. Like, they'll have a sale. It goes live. You got five minutes. Five. You got five minutes to get your stuff and get out. If you don't, you're missing it, right? Like, they have release dates where they'll release something. Once it's done, it's done. And then their website is down for a few weeks at a time. Then they'll come back with another release date. Once they stuff is done, it'll be down. I think they're trying to change in a little bit where 
you have to sign up for restock notifications and they may, may restock one item you'll get an email you can buy it but the accessibility is a little bit li more limited with um, Dawkins Aroma than it is with the Oaksha like or if they continue to leave this up then it'll just be up like if Oaksha chooses to keep their version it feels like it's going to be a limited edition thing but that's really the only thing that I think is worth mentioning as far as the difference um I really don't think you need both um and for both of them if you have dupes of Baccarat Rouge 540 and Lost Cherry or the original of both you can combine them and create the same effect um I like having something that's already mixed together and I don't have to worry about layering it myself so I will probably always have a version of it however I will I don't feel the need to have both versions if I had to choose if they said you could only have one in your collection which one would I pick based on what I'm smelling right now my preference would be Dawkins Aroma right now but if you came back to me a couple of months after Paul reacts sits for maybe a month or so and the perfume gets to, you know, do its thing, my opinion might change. But based on what I'm smelling now, it would be Dawkins Aroma. Yeah, what's the price? I know Oaksha, the perfume was $50 and it's a 50 ml. Um, it says it's an extract de parfum, which is supposed to be stronger than an eau de parfum. The concentrate, I guess that's why they put the concentration at 30% because it's supposed to be higher than normal perfumes. Um, I think the only test left is really to see which one lasts longer. Yeah, Oaksha is 50. Let's see how much Dawkins Aroma is. Yeah, see right now, like their website is down. As of right now when I'm recording this. So I can't even tell you how much this is. I think their 1.7 ounce is between 60 and 65. Because I'm looking at a previous order. One of the 1.7 ounce I got was 65. Another of the 1.7 ounce I got was 60. Dawkins Roma is a little more expensive. Um, the accessibility at this current moment is limited. Like you can go online right now and get the auction one. As I'm filming this right now, Dawkins Roma site is down. Which they do periodically. So it's really just a matter of preference. It's really just a matter of which one works better for you and your lifestyle. Um... I don't think you I don't think you could go wrong with either one though. I think both would be an amazing choice. I think they both have done an amazing job. This wasn't supposed to be a comparison, but end up being that only because they both are the same thing. And I, if you already have opulence, maybe like, do I need to go get Miss Girl? In my opinion, no. Miss Girl, as of right now, is at least $10, $15 cheaper than Dawkins Aroma. Or if you want it right now. You know, there's just all things. So you really have to figure out, based on your collection, based on what you want, based on what you're willing to spend, blah, 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 whatever, what works best for you. So that's all. This was fairly short, hopefully. Um, just to give kind of my honest thoughts on where we are, on what kind of I think about the whole Lost by Rouge 540 Lost Cherry combo. And if you need it in your collection, the bottle alone, though, I'm the bottle would make me want to buy it. Like this bright pink situation here, I would want it just for the bottle. Like I think that's so cute. It's good. It is good though. I ain't gonna hold you. It's good. It's good. So is this one though. So it's really just a matter of preference. You can't go wrong with either one. Both of them are great. Just figure out what works best for you and go from there. So that's all. Drop down in the comments. Let me know um, what you think. Were you interested in the Miss Girl, the Pariax? Were you? Do you know who he was before then? Um, and also, this is my first Oaksha perfume. Let me know if there's another, what other perfumes from Oaksha you feel like I would need in my collection. Um, I have Delina, so I don't need to do with that. I have... Um, Latafa Ensemble and I think that's like the dupe for Love Don't Be Shy I'm trying to think what else big brands that people would recommend on the time and I have like I have Chanel Coco Mademoiselle so I don't need a dupe for that um I do not have Bacar Rouge 540 but I feel like I have enough dupes um but outside of that let me know if you feel like there's a perfume from Oaksha that you really really love that you feel like 
projects that get sillage it lasts a long time like all the things if it checks all the boxes drop down in the comments and let me know um but anyway yeah talk to me in the comments let me know what you think check out my discount code if you haven't done that yet i love you all so much i'll see you in my next one bye